this video of YouTube marketing, we are going to talk about a very important thing and that is how to upload your video on YouTube. Well guys, this is the very common question that every YouTuber have or every aspiring YouTuber have in their mind that what is the best way or what is the perfect way to upload their videos on YouTube. So in this particular video, I'm going to show you that how you can upload your video with the perfect way or in the best way possible so that you can get best views or you can rank on YouTube's search engine, right? Now, who we are to tell you this? What are our experience or what are our knowledge about how to upload videos on YouTube? Well, guys, we have created a channel which has more than 400,000 followers. It is close to 500,000 followers. So we don't know how to upload the perfect video on YouTube, basically how to upload a video on YouTube perfectly, right? What is the best way? What is the perfect way? And what are the those steps you need to follow in order to perfectly upload your video on YouTube? So let's directly jump into my YouTube creator studio and learn how to upload a video on YouTube. Now, as you can see, guys, we do have this totally uh, demo we, uh, channel over here, as you can see, which we have created in this course itself. And if you don't know, about the course, you can go to the description box below or you can click on the I button where you'll be able to see the playlist of YouTube marketing where we are creating this videos, right? Now, firstly, you need to go to the content section because this is the totally new channel. That's why we are directly able to see the upload videos op option over here. But when you are regularly uploading your videos on your channel, you'll be able to see the stats of your recent video in this particular section. So how you can upload your video. So basically here's the option to upload your video and this is the option to directly go live. So we don't uh, want to go live. We want to upload a recorded video basically which we have recorded and edited properly. So the prerequests are your video which should be properly edited and the thumbnail that should be in your PC which you are using right now. Right, so once I click on this upload button, this kind of window will appear in front of me. And if I select, click on select files, my file manager will open. Now I have uploaded the video in the desktop itself. I have this video. This is the sample video totally. I've uploaded, I've already uploaded this video in my original channel, which is Marketing Fundas Global. So I'm using this sample video. Once I hit the open button, this will start uploading in my YouTube channel. Now you'll be able to see this uploading meter over here. It is showing that the video has been 12%, 13% uploaded, right? Now it is showing me the estimated time that how much time it will going to take to upload the full video, right? Now let me close this. And now here we need to add the details about this particular video, right? So here we need to add the title. We need to add the description and all other details. So let's start with one by one. So first we need to add the title. So the best way to write the title is to add some potential keywords or the search queries that people might searching on YouTube. So how you can find those search queries or those keywords? I've already created a video on vidIQ where you can find the low competition keywords or low competition search queries on the vidIQ tool. You can watch that video directly on our YouTube channel. You just need to go to YouTube and search for marketing fundas global over here right and once you go to marketing fundas global you will be able to see the playlist section in the playlist section we have this youtube marketing course and let me pause this so that you don't get irritated with the sound because you'll be you need to listen to my voice right so this is the video 19th number in the playlist with iq tool full guide this is a uh, almost half an hour video where i have given you the full guide on how to find out the best potential keywords using vidiq tool right and that is totally free for free and if you don't want to use this tool you can directly go with the totally organic method and that is directly search on youtube's uh, search uh, engine basically in this search bar particularly right so first we need to understand what is this video is all about so this video is about the title how to write the title of your videos right uh, if i show you the thumbnail let me so this is the thumbnail of this particular video youtube titles full guide so how to write the title so i need to 
search the terms let me go to here now what i need to do is i need to search the terms over here like how to write youtube video title like this now as you can see this is a very potential query which people are searching if i click on i'll be able to see that which type of title people are using in their videos like how to write perfect youtube title get uh, that get clicks right this one is good like i can do i can get some uh, some inspiration from these videos like how to write perfect title description tags then how to write better youtube titles and get more views how to write perfect youtube video title so what i can do is i can use these titles in my video as well and add some extra titles uh, not extra titles add some extra keywords like i want to use how to write perfect if i copy this like this paste here not i don't want to use u y t i want to use full youtube right and the youtube is like this right now i can add the question mark over here as well and then the separator the question mark is not looking good over here now the first portion of my title is ready how to write perfect youtube video title now what i can do is i can add some extra details like get more clicks or get more views so i can write like this get more clicks and more views right now what i can do is i have written two type basically two parts in my title now if you want you can add the hashtag as well like if you oops there's a mistake get so when you add hashtag you can search the hashtag and the search bar will open here like i can write youtube title and if people are adding these hashtag this will appear here right as you can see here youtube title so i can add this title as well now as you can see i do have 100 character limit but uh, 86 characters are enough even you can go up to 100 if you want but main content should be into the first 60 characters 50 to 60 characters right now here in the description part we can add the description as well so this is the basic detail which by default my description uh, basically my youtube channel is showing over here to get mark digital marketing services contact to marketingfundus.com or mail us at like this visit maybe so for now i'm just removing all these part now how i write my description so basically your description part should be keyword rich right so first what you can do is you can add your uh, thumbnail part and extra details and at the end you can write the description part so that you can find out some more extra potential keywords and you can fill in those keywords in the description part right because youtube will prefer those keywords which you are adding into your description part now let's upload the thumbnail just click on this blank button if you want you can choose a thumbnail from your video as well but i want to upload a thumbnail and that is this one right it is getting uploaded and the thumbnail is showing over here now if you have any uh, basically playlist you can add this particular video in into that playlist but we don't have any playlist in this account if you want you can create one right now if you scroll a little bit down here you'll be able to see this video is made for kids or not so no it is not made for kids so you need to select this very carefully because if your video is particularly created for kids then you can select this option otherwise you need to select this option only and this is totally against the rule if your video is not created for kids and if you have selected this right and this is rule is from directly from copa which is an american organization and youtube and the google is also american company so they need to follow the rule right now 
why is this there's a difference between these and uh, this two option basically if you select this option there will be a customized settings or custom personalized options in the kids content and the ads and the notification and all you'll be able to see here right and if you select this the con basically the options and the settings and the ads will customize to the end to kind to an adult audience right so our content is not made for kids right it is not like that they will not be able to watch this video but yeah this is particularly not made for kids right now if you have any kind of age restriction like yes uh, restricted restrict my video to viewers over 18 so you can select this otherwise you can uh, by default this option will be selected no don't restrict my video to viewers over 18 right so this is age restriction part now if you click on show more here you will be able to see some extra options like if you are doing any kind of paid promotion, sponsorship and brand endorsement, product endorsement, then you can select this option. Otherwise, you can uncheck this box, right? Then in automatic chapters, you can uh, leave these options as it is. Now in the tags section, let me remove these options, all the parts. Now in the tag section, what you can do is you can add the keyword, potential keywords, which your users can search in order to find this video. So again, you can go to your YouTube search bar and you can search here the different keywords as you write like how to write YouTube video, you get these many keywords. So you can add these keywords into the tag section. Although tag section is not that much important, but still I prefer to add the tags in my videos, right? Because as you can see here, tags can be useful if uh, if content in your video is commonly misspelled, otherwise tags play a minimal role in helping viewers to find your video. But still, I prefer to add some tags over here. You can go up to uh, 500 characters, but it, it is totally up to you uh, how many you want to add, right? Now, I want to, let's write, write how to write perfect youtube video oops here's a mistake perfect youtube video title like here as you can see i found one keyword how to make a good youtube video title so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to copy and paste it over here oops yeah and let's find out some more like how to create YouTube video title as you can see right so you can do by your own and find out some potential keywords and add it here and after adding these keywords you can use these basically keywords or tags into the description part as well so that your video gets ranked on these keywords as well. Now, I have added the tags over here. You can go up to 500, but I'm not going to add all the 500 uh, characters over here because it's going to take too much time, right? Now, here in the language and caption certification, if you have any kind of certification, you can add it. Otherwise, you can leave it as it is. Now, here you need to add the video language, whatever the video language you are using. Uh, you can select that language over here right so right now it is uh, by default set on english united states so i'll be leaving in that then you can add the recording date and the location if you want but these are not compulsory you if, if you want you can add it right then youtube license is standard if you want to give this content to use anyone then you can select creative commons then people will be able to use this video or the content of this video right but the standard license is by default again scroll a little bit down here you can select some category like in which category you are creating the content so my category is educational and here you can select the type it is problem walkthrough real life application how to or whatever the option you suits your content you can select it right otherwise you can leave it and here you can select academic system. So from which country your content belongs to. So if there is any connection to the academic system of any country, you can select it. Otherwise you can click on none. 
right and here are some extra options to the commenting part but i don't do here any kind of except if there is any exception right now we have left the description part now i'm going to add the description over here so i'm going to write like this in this video of youtube marketing course you are going to learn about how to write a perfect youtube video title and get more clicks and more views right even if you want you can describe it more and add some extra keywords after this i try to add any uh, relatable video or the link to my playlist which is uh, basically my youtube marketing's playlist so i can add the playlist as well after writing youtube marketing full course playlist like this and here i add the link right then i can add some extra hashtags over here you can go up to three like youtube marketing youtube tips oops spelling mistake like yes and you can add one more right after this you can hit the next button once you are done with all the details option of your video we are into video element and if your channel is monetized then you'll be able to see two extra options and that is totally for the monetization purposes like if you, whether you want to keep the ads in this particular video or not or where you want to place your place those ads in the video like this right but if you are able to monetize your channel then you know how to upload the video upload your video on youtube right so there's no point of showing those options over here now after this after those monetization option we will be into directly into video elements option where i can add subtitles add uh, end screen and cards so subtitles i'm going to show you in the upcoming videos like how to add manually subtitles right there's an auto subtitling option as well and by default that option is automatically turned on if youtube is able to understand your language youtube will create the subtitle for your video and if you want to manually add those subtitles you can add it from here so we'll be showing you in the upcoming videos then we do have this end screen option so end screen you need to create the end screen like if i click on add you'll be able to see these uh elements over here right so what you can do is you can add these elements into the end of your video like let's say i want to add this one if i click here you'll be able to see two elements over here you can drag and drop it we'll be explaining these things in the upcoming videos better but for now you can understand that this is the subscribe button at the end of the video this thing will these these elements will appear right if you want you can resize them like you can decrease or increase the duration of these elements as well right and this video here the video will appear which have the best uh, relevancy to the viewer right like this now if you hit the save button elements will be added as you can see here and same goes with the cards card is like if you know the i button in your video ele elements are just for the end of your video but the cards can be added in the middle of your video like if you want to add any relevant video in that particular scene what you can do is you can go to that particular time frame and you can add the video you can add the playlist you can add the channel even you can add the link as well but this is not available right now you have these th three options like youtube video like we do have this demo option we have uh, added over here and you can add up to five cards in that particular uh, video in a particular video right and this card will appear like this this i button right if you hit the save 
this will save now if you hit the next this will go to the checks option where this will show you if the video has any kind of copyright issue or not like it is showing there is no any kind of copyright issue so you can proceed further so now hit the next button and now we are into the end part which is the visibility section so you have these options like save and publish so if you click on save and publish the video will publish but it will remain private and if you want to keep it unlist you can select the unlist button if you want to make it public you can select the public button so you have these three options and the save and publish will be the constant right now if you don't want to publish it right now so what you can do is you can go with the schedule option where you can make it public this video in future like uh, let's say i don't want to publish it today i want to publish it tomorrow or maybe uh, one or two or three or maybe one week later so it is totally up to you whenever you want to publish and make it public this video right so let's say i want to go with tomorrow 12 am or maybe 12 pm right 12 pm selected now once you hit the schedule button your video will be scheduled if you set this as premiere so the video will get premiered as movies happen right so this option is also given by youtube that you can premiere your video as well like in the real time your viewers will be able to watch the video but we are not going to use this option right now now just hit the schedule button and your video is scheduled for tomorrow pm right now you can go to the content and here you will be able to see the video right if you want to make it public right now what you can do is you can directly make it public right now as well by clicking here save and make it public and just click on publish button and your video will be published right i'm not going to publish it here because i've already uploaded this video in my main channel so i'm not going to publish it here so i hope you understood the procedure i hope everything is clear now if you still have any question or query please comment down below i'll answer those questions in the comment section itself let's wrap up this video here we'll be meeting you in the next video till then bye bye